I put together a Benjamin Moore color palette featuring Brandy Cream, which is a color we recently reviewed on Hue Review, link in the description down below and in the cards up top if you want to see that. This is going to be a six color palette that I put together arranged in our beautiful palette pyramid formation. This is our technique of arranging colors where we have a main color up top, which is kind of your default paint color choice for your project. You then have some supporting colors right underneath that can help elevate that main color. And then of course, along the bottom, you have your accent colors or as we like to call your finishing colors so let's get into it i'm james from the paint people this is palette pyramids so brandy cream is a paint color that is part of the benjamin moore classics collection it's also part of the cc color palette and also the oc or the off-white collection and it is a bit of an off-white in the sense that it's kind of light but i wouldn't really call it or mistake it for being white it has some depth it has a bit of richness it is one of those lighter neutral colors and it has a bit of a peachy beige quality to it. But that's all the details I'm going to give you because I already did a whole review on it. So let's get into this palette pyramid. Where would I put brandy cream on the pyramid? Well, in this case, I would say this is going to be the main color. So right at the top, the pinnacle of this palette, brandy cream is going to be my default color choice. So in practical terms, on an interior project especially, this is going to be the color that I would start with. If I don't really know which color to pick out of this whole palette, go straight to the top, go to the main color, brandy cream, hallway color, living areas, anything like that. As you sort of go from space to space, room to room, and you want to differentiate things, switch things up, that's when you can kind of deviate. As a starting point, brandy cream, great choice. It is a little bit unique because of that peachy quality. It's not necessarily a straight up grayish or even a green leaning kind of neutral that is a bit more earthy and organic, colors that I tend to like, but it has a great lightness to it at a 66 LRV. So nothing that'll feel too dark in a lot of cases, which is nice. And it's also not so light that you're just gonna lose the coloration completely in those well lit areas. So because we started with the top, let's kind of take a step down to the supporting colors, which is going to be those secondary choices. And in this case, you're gonna have a trim color and another wall color option. But before we do that, I wanted to let you know that we offer custom color palettes for our customers. So if you want your own personalized color palette pyramid from me, from the Paint People team, and we've also listened to feedback from you guys. So now we have three different options, both a three color palette pyramid, if you're just looking to do maybe one room, a six color palette pyramid, similar to these videos. And then the third level is 11 colors. So you get basically two colors for free and a palette pyramid that big will kind of serve you for a while because you have a lot of different colors you can interchange and switch up this year next year you want to just have little accessories coming in and out the bigger palette pyramids are for those larger scale projects or just thinking about your whole home and how you can arrange those colors together what's awesome too is your level of involvement is completely up to you so if you have no idea and you want me to just put the whole palette together that's great or if you already have some colors in mind or if you have specific aspects of your decor that you really want to incorporate and be mindful of you can let us know and then we can kind of cater to those things as well link in the description down below if you want more information on that. But enough about that, let's get into that secondary support color category. And the first color is going to be white opulence. This is obviously going to be the brightest color in this pyramid. It has an 87 and a half LRV. So extremely light color, very clean. And this is a fresh white that has just a slight bit of that sort of peachy, but more so pink quality that is extremely subtle. But the reason I picked it is it coordinates perfectly with brandy cream. So if you wanted that bright, clean white on your trim, your baseboards, your doors, your frames, even your ceilings, this is going to be a choice that is almost brainless. Love these two together. Now that we got a trim color to support our main color, what about another wall color? Maybe something a bit darker to give you another option in addition to brandy cream. Well, that would be shabby chic. Another color within that warm neutral space, but this one has a little more darkness. It's pretty much a perfect neutral, like just under 50 LRV or light reflectance value. This one doesn't have as much of a clear peachy quality to it. Maybe there's something there in the background, but I think there's also a little bit more of a gray aspect in here to give you more of a traditional kind of earthy grayish 
type of coloration. Not only are you getting something a bit darker, but also just a slightly different undertone overall. So a little bit adjacent, a little bit kind of a neighbor, not necessarily the exact same color, but that's what gives this color palette variety, which is good. Okay, cool. So those are three colors that you can really just get started with. But what about some finishing colors to really just complete the project? Some special colors that maybe have a little more color, a little more depth in those spaces where it really calls for it. Well, the first one is going to take another Another step away from peach going a little bit more into a cooler direction it's called river reflections and this is a color that is in that bottom third lightness wise so another darker color so you probably want to have some decent lighting in whatever space you use it in but the payoff is you have something that's rich it has some heaviness to it, but kind of in a good way. And it is a little more of a green undertone gray, very much a bolder gray that maybe has a very thin layer of moss over it. Just a tiny bit of green within this taupey gray that I think is pretty, pretty awesome. I love this color. The second one in this pyramid is going to be similar in terms of how it's composed. Another gray leaning color with a pretty decent coloration coming through in the form of a smoky purple. This color is called Fusion, and it's part of the Affinity line, AF675. And this is a color that very much complements the last one, River Reflection. Purple and green, they're like not completely opposite on the color spectrum, but they do have a little bit of that complementary relationship. So they're gonna allow each other to stand out pretty well. In that case, you can use these two finishing colors in the same space, but I always recommend don't have a 50-50 sort of split between the two, maybe an 80-20 or a 70-30 max. So you have a nice sense of complementary balance rather than actual balance because two of those colors together the undertones are just going to be a bit too jarring i would say depends on your preference the way that i would use them is interchangeably so if you wanted something that was a little more purple leaning in a space go with fusion if you wanted the opposite and go in a green direction river reflections might work better in that case too for whatever reason i love kind of greeny bluey gray colors in bathrooms and then maybe purple leaning colors work really well in bedrooms. So that could be an idea for you. You can kind of flip it as well. That's the idea of these finishing colors is they're meant to sort of be interchangeable and be swapped in and out based on your preference. I'm giving you the power to make those final decisions. The third finishing color is going to be the darkest color in this palette pyramid. It is called Ashland Slate. And Ashland Slate is another departure away from warm into cool but we're not really dealing with green or purple. This one is about blue and it's a very shaded blue. I wouldn't even call this a navy blue derivative really. It is actually more of a slate gray with just a clear blue undertone, but I think it really suits the other colors very well. Very complimentary again to the warmer colors we talked about earlier, especially our main color, brandy cream. So there will be a nice bit of contrast both in color temperature and in depth. Awesome choice if you want this as an accent wall, but even in rooms like bedrooms, a powder room, an office, if you really want that nice, rich sort of feeling to it, a bit of a cave-like vibe, like I always say, this is a great choice for that. And this is the palette pyramid all together. Please let me know what you think. How would you use these colors in your space? And also, if you want even more content from us, our Patreon is live. Big shout out to all my Patreon members. We post exclusive content there every single Sunday. So link in the description if you want more information on that. And we have the actual review on Brandy Cream right over here.